Uh, so the episode's yeah. called The Nexus Events, and um, it, it obviously stems from that interaction that Loki had with Sylvie. I mean, it, yeah. do you think it's love? Like, is that... That's a, good, think, that's think, a good question. Man. When you invent a new form of incest, that's that's what creates a Nexus event. I mean, that's the most Loki-ass thing I could think of. Loki, <laughs> I Loki feel itself. like that is the best <laughs> answer ever. Like, they literally invented... Uh, by the way, I am totally down for that version. Like, I know for a fact that if I met the female version of myself, yeah, that's, that's, I would just. Striking I'm too much, dragons all night. I'm too <laughs> much. Striking vipers. Striking vipers. I, uh, I love that he fell in love with the female version of himself uh, because I would totally do that. But I, I, I really appreciate how. As long as she's not in a wheelchair, by the way. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, when Mobius figures this out, he's like, he calls him out in like a week. He almost like kink shames him like that is the most narcissistic thing you could ever do like he's not and, wrong he's not and, wrong he's not, he's not wrong what, but it, i appreciate that they went there with that, the that highest dialogue. Form of love. yeah like and the highest form of flattery right <laughs> I, it's true true <laughs> no one no one can flatter you better that, than yourself so, kind of piggybacking off that question a question for you guys like do you guys think sylvie feels the same because no, the, 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 you know, the whole Nexus spike, you know, was when she touched him. But when he mm -hmm. kind of grabs her later at the, at, you know, after the, the, the end confrontation, he seems like he's about to kind of put his feelings out there. And she looks sort of like, don't do it, bro. Like, what are you doing? She seems yeah. a little like, as they're about know. to get Rogue One. <laughs> yeah, I think it's more that she's, she's like, yo, time and a place, read the room. Right, Maybe right. Right. Here. There, there's that and then she also did mention like kind of like as a joke in the last episode that she was in love with like a postman or something mm -hmm. like that you know so like i don't know that she necessarily was lying about that she actually hasn't lied much at all since we've met her so far right like doesn't seem she's, like she's it. she's been pretty honest as far as we can tell i so definitely got the same vibes you did ian where it's like don't do it. Like, this is going to yeah, be yeah. weird, you know, like, <laughs> but I think that makes it more interesting. I mean, right? they intentionally did not have them kiss, I think, for, yeah, I feel like that would have been too weird for Disney. She doesn't have to be, that doesn't have to be her purpose is to be Loki's no. love interest. Yeah. You know, like, she can be more than that. And and that's fine. Like, I, I will I be mad if they, if they have a little hookup just, you know, for fun, just to see what that's like? No, that's pretty awesome. And, you know, that's mm -hmm. just masturbation at that point, really. Yeah. Oh, it's <laughs>